Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you haven't already, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this video at the end, please give it a like, as well as feel free to leave any comments or questions that you may have. So today is the day, we all know, it's Supreme Week 12's drop list. <laughs> So of course we only, I guess they are saying, have the partial list out, but this is a pretty heavy partial list that we are gonna go through. So even if they are deciding to add to this list, I don't think it's going to be that many extra items. As you can see today, I'm wearing one of our wins from last week. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> kind of sticking to me because I'm wearing this in the house, but this is actually the Supreme Poncho. It's got the nice box logo here, nice little hood here. Ooh. I love this, it actually goes all the way over my face and down, so you're gonna actually stay pretty dry in this poncho. This is quality. I mean, it kinda looked like a trash bag when I took it out, to be honest, but then when I put it on, it's actually pretty well made. Durante il processo di lavorazione, le borse vengano assemblate con le mani, vengano cucite con le macchine da cucire. For how much I paid for this, it's a pretty good deal. And it comes in this cute little bag. It says, be prepared for the storm. And it's really easy to take it out, put it back in when you're done with it. So even if this is wet, I can just fold it back up, keep it in this bag and not get any of the other things in my purse wet, which is pretty cool. Nice little quality travel pack. This actually would have been great for yesterday because in New York, it literally was sunny outside, but raining. And it's one of those days where you see the sun, so you don't expect it to rain. Supreme would have came in handy for that. I'm still waiting on my other win. I won the printed ball cap collab by Barber, and that is in the leopard print. I am supposed to be receiving it today. So hopefully on Thursday, when I do my live cop day, you guys will see me wearing that ball cap. All right, so let's get to it, shall we? The drop list for week 12 has finally arrived. We're gonna go through this list, give you guys all the updates on what these items look like, what they're gonna be retailing for, as well as I'm gonna go through what I think are going to be killer items that are going to resell very well. Today, we are going to start with the lawn chair. Okay, Supreme. I like a good lawn chair, but unfortunately, I live in New York City. And unless I have a deck, off my apartment, which unfortunately I don't. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this lawn chair, but I like that it has a Supreme logo going all across the back, all across the bottom. It's a pretty, you know, basic lawn chair. What can we say? But uh, a great chair, I guess, if you have a lawn once again to put that in. One day, maybe if I'm in the suburbs living out there, that would be a, a great option for me. Next up, we've got the small box hooded sweatshirt. These are great sweatshirts. I mean, it's pretty basic. Uh, it's got that Supreme box logo, but it's very, very small. So definitely gonna have to be up close and personal to see that logo on the hoodie. It comes in a great range of colors. We've got this army green, which I'm a super big fan of. They have it in orange, black, yellow, a sky blue, white, and pink. I think that white is probably going to do the best out of all the colorways in that hooded sweatshirt. I, for one, though, think that I'm probably gonna go for that army green because that's more of a color that I kinda wanna add to my wardrobe list. Next up, we have the Daniel Johnson frog tee. I am a huge fan of this tee. It is so freaking cute. I'm gonna go through a bit on Daniel Johnson's background. If you are not a fan of him, 
don't really know much about him, just to give you a bit of history because, you know, you're making a purchase, you're putting your money towards this item. I think it's very important that you know about what the shirt, you know, is entailing uh, as far as, you know, who the inspiration is coming from. And this is Daniel Johnson's artwork and art pieces. So this is actually a very influential human who unfortunately we lost last year in September. He died from a heart attack. Uh, Johnson has carved out a respectable, influential career as a singer, songwriter, extraordinary talent who has grown since his first crudely cassette was released in 1980. So Daniel Johnson was based in Austin, Texas, where he literally was just on the street corners handing out cassette tapes. Do you guys remember those cassette tapes? I used to love cassette tapes. I literally held on to cassettes, refused to, to buy CDs at the time because I loved them so much. Seems like forever ago. But uh, yeah, he would basically just hand out free music to people so they could, you know, get a test and feel for what he was creating. It wasn't until 1985 that MTV actually had heard some buzz around his name and they actually did a feature on him. And once they did this feature on him, he basically blew up. So he became the senior songwriter choice for the alternative underground rock scene at various times has had his work championed by members of Sonic Youth. Yola Tango. Butthole Surfers, Half Japanese, and my favorite, I'm gonna actually take this off because it's like sticking to me. None other than Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain actually stated in interviews that Johnson was one of the greatest songwriters of all time. So he was highly influenced by him. You can actually see images of Kurt Cobain in a similar shirt to the shirt that Supreme is launching with the same artwork on it. Uh, and he would actually perform. So he was definitely a huge fan of Johnson's, which is amazing. Uh, so for years, Johnson had contended with both physical and mental health issues. He was diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder and his physical well-being suffered after he took a major fall and was hospitalized. So Daniels was really fighting with, you know, a lot while he was creating all these masterpieces of works of art, as well as writing amazing music. So Wilco frontman Jeff Twee actually told the New York Times that Daniel has managed to create in spite of his mental illness, not because of it. He's been honest in his portrayal of what he's been struggling with without actually drawing attention to it, which is amazing. It's like, hey, listen, I've got all these issues. I've got, all, I've got mental health issues, physical issues, but like, I'm not gonna let that hold me back from creating wonderful music, wonderful art. He didn't let that actually set him apart or disable him from being able to continue to create greatness. So his narratives for his songs focus mainly on lost love, the pain of miscommunication, his love for the Beatles, and comic book superhero Captain America. So Johnson really had, you know, some great influential people to help inspire him to create you know, great music and, and great art pieces. Galleries around the world sought out to procure his artwork to display. So if that doesn't say anything to you, these pieces that are actually shown on some of the Supreme Collection that they did a collab with him on are huge. So this actually, the shirt is similar to a shirt that Kurt Cobain wore. It's the Hi, How Are You t-shirt. And I absolutely love it. I'm looking at the colorways here and I've been talking about this colorway in my previous videos, actually. It's this minty, fresh, kind of cool green tone. That is by far the coolest color I've seen Supreme launch thus far. And I think that is going to fly off the shelves. 
That's definitely going to be in my top picks of things that I'm going to try and cop this Thursday. It looks like it also comes in a nice spring pink, which I think is going to be pretty popular, as well as a white, an orange, a navy, and a black. And we are moving on to some more of the collab with Daniel Johnson. It looks like they've got some beanies. I'm in love with these beanies. It has that same cute little alien creature on it. And I think that's going to go perfect, actually, with one of those frog tees. So it comes in a white, a pink, a turquoise, and a black. I think I'm definitely going to go hard for that pink because I think that's going to be on point with that mint green. I actually love the text of the Supreme in this. It's a super cool text. So I just want to rock that, especially since if you guys didn't know in my previous videos, I've lost my beanie. So I'm hoping to hopefully cop another one. And I think these are perfect for spring and perfect for summer colorways. Then we have the Daniel Johnson hooded sweatshirt. It's kind of got like an alien surfer going on there with the Supreme logo on the side of the arm. Oof, you guys know how much I love purple and I've been trying so hard to get something to match my court purples. It looks like they've got that in a nice purple color. I'm definitely looking at potentially going hard for that color. And it also comes in a fuchsia, a yellow, a light gray, it looks like, as well as a black. And these are definitely, it looks like it's a soft, lightweight, and breathable hoodie, which will be great for the summertime because it is getting closer and it is getting toasty here in New York some of these days. It's been like in the 70s, which I can't complain. I'm super stoked for the summer to be here. Hurry up already. Moving on. We've got the Daniel Johnson plaid shirt. It comes in two different plaid colorways, a red purple-ish color and a more neutral, lighter lavender brown and gray. More like a charcoal gray than a gray. Those are pretty cool. I mean, it's got the same artwork and I love that it says, I know Supreme on it. <laughs> Super cute. And then we've got the Daniel Johnson rayon shirts. Those are pretty cool. Looks very comic book like. It's crazy because you can really kind of get a feel from Daniel Johnson's art pieces that he had a lot going on in his mind. And it really shows through on the collab that Supreme did with him. We've got, you know, it's almost like superhero extraterrestrial ET-ish vibes going on here. We've got that Rayon shirt in a white, which is pretty colorful, it's multicolored, and then a black option for that. Then we have the Daniel Johnson tee. This is pretty cool too. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, this, this is definitely some mental stuff going on here. We've got almost like a devil looking thing with its head open and exposed with a cross, almost like a, a zombie, devil type thing there with a cool Supreme logo on top. I think I prefer the other frog tee over this one, but this one also comes in the same colorways, which are dope. So they still have that mint color, which I love. It's a light pink. We've got a white, uh, orange and a black and navy tone in that as well. And that is the, then we have, oh, we have another, we have another Daniel Johnson tee. Man, we are just, they're throwing out t-shirts for him. So this one is cool. It's got Supreme kind of an accursive writing on the top here. And this is the Kill Em All tee. Once again, comes in the similar colorways as the other two tees that I mentioned before. A white, a light mint, a pink, an orange, a navy, and a black. Looks like almost somebody in outer space. And he's yellow, but he's on some skull heads. We've got some darkness going on there. Uh, definitely like this tee, probably second in that collection, but still my first is going to be that frog tee. All right, then we also have the Donald, Daniel, Donald, Daniel Johnson embroidered work jacket. And this actually is the same artwork 
as the t-shirt that I mentioned earlier. So if you're looking, I guess, to have a embroidered jacket, which this actually looks like it's pretty detailed in the embroidering here. Uh, it comes in a black, a green, and a white. Wasn't too huge of a fan of this print on the t-shirt, but I mean, if you are a huge fan of that, I think the jacket is, it looks pretty dope. Okay, so looks like that is it for the Daniel Johnson collection. So now we're gonna move on to Kangol. This brand has been pretty influential in my life. I have a bit of Puerto Rican and Cuban influence. I used to spend time with my family every summer and they definitely were huge into drumming. And all the drummers I can remember when I was a little girl were wearing Kangol. That was just like a huge brand. So I was just basically used to seeing every man at any of our parties or big dinners wearing a Kangol hat or even going to the drumming sessions, they were always wearing Kangol. So definitely has had a huge impact and influence on my life. Seeing that they've done a collab with Supreme, definitely giving me a different feel here. I'm not so sure how I feel about the Bermuda casual hat. It looks, I like that style of hat, but the material actually, it looks fuzzy. So I don't know if that's gonna be super hot on my head. I've got super thick curly hair. So I think that just might not be too comfortable. <laughs> it's got the nice massive Supreme logo on the front of that lid. Those colors are black, black looks like a neon green, a sky blue, a white, and a red. And it looks like they also have another ball cap with that same material, which is some interesting material. It almost looks felt like, uh, but that comes in the same exact colorways. We got the Supreme logo though on the back of this ball cap with the Kangol in the front, and it comes in red, white, sky blue, black, and that neon green as well. So, all right. Okay, Kangol. Good to know that that brand is still with us. Moving on, Supreme is doing another collab with Mechanics, Mechanics spelled with an X, and they are known for creating gloves for industrial type of work. It looks like up close, it's basically a bunch of nails and screws placed on top of each other. So I don't know. I don't know that I would need gloves specifically. I am a hand model. So I have seen actual hand models be hardcore and they wear gloves everywhere. I'm not that hardcore. But if you are, you know, in the industry where you're doing construction work or even, you know, doing a lot of work outside in the garden or something, I could see, you know, me needing to wear those gloves. But uh, with my line of work, I just, I don't see me needing that as much. That comes in a red or a black option. And then let's see what else we've got going here. It's just like, I can't believe this is a partial list. So we have the over dyed top, and this is actually going to go in one of my top items. I just love the colors that they're launching. I think these are great colors for the spring, great colors for the summer. It has that color that I love so much, that minty, fresh, cool green. And then as I talked in my last video, I love that sherbet orange and they're launching it in this top as well. And it comes in the charcoal gray, which I love too. It's going to be a hard one. I kind of would almost take every color. I'm not much of a fuchsia fan, but I mean, Hey, I kind of like it too. So every colorway in this collection is awesome. It's a blue fuchsia and a white as well. And on the back, it has a nice Supreme logo. So definitely probably going to play hard for that one. Then we have, uh, oh, we missed this for the Daniel Johnson collection. Actually has some embroidered pants. We've got that frog alien looking thing there, as well as another alien creature on the back of the pant. So if you're in need of some work pants, those actually look pretty comfortable. Comes in a green, a white, and a black. We also have some utility belted pants. Those are interesting. They're very cargo-like. Looks like we've got some nice 
detailed pockets on the outside there. And it comes with a belt. That's pretty cool. Comes in purple, red, yellow, black, and a camo color. Looks like there's some mesh pockets on the front now that I get a closer look at it. Then we've got the Ripstop Utility Jacket. Once again, I don't know that I am in the market for heavy coats right now because we are nearing summertime. Uh, they have a camo in this, a lavender and a black. Almost looks like a plaid print. So if you're in the market for a jacket, there you go. It's got the Supreme logo on the front. Looks like the detail is in white. Then we have Alfitre Polo. It's got Supreme all over it. Just trying to get an idea of, oh, looks like we've got a cigarette and an ashtray. It's an interesting uh, artwork on the outside. Not so crazy about it, but um, it's an all cotton polo shirt. Comes in two different colorways, kind of a charcoal gray, white and black, as well as a multicolor with yellows, reds, and teal tones in there. Next up, we also have another uh, item that's with the Mechanics Collab, Nails Work Shorts, and that's in the same colorway as the gloves. So I guess if you wanna have shorts that match those gloves, here you have it in red and black options with those nails and screws all over it. And then we have the Bevel Text Ringer Tee. So Supreme had started in 1994, which is why I'm assuming they have 1994, diagonal across this shirt with the Supreme logo underneath. It comes in a block colorway, red and white, navy or not navy, it's like a lighter blue and yellow and a neon green and black. So if you're all about strutting when Supreme started, I think that t-shirt option is for you. My top picks are going to be the small box hooded sweatshirt I'm loving that and that uh, khaki kind of green. Then I am loving that Daniel Johnson frog tee in the minty color as well as the pink. Next up, I love the Daniel Johnson beanie. Probably going to go for that in pink and white. And then I actually love that purple colorway in the Daniel Johnson hooded sweatshirt. And last but not least, the over dyed top in that orange creamsicle colorway or that minty green. Definitely loving these new colorways that Supreme is dropping this week. So those are my picks, guys. Uh, they're probably gonna be posting today or tomorrow. I don't know. A couple last minute items, because that's how Supreme is, they're last minute but we will try and keep you posted with any updated content before Thursday. So wishing you guys all good luck and hopefully we can cop some items this week. I feel like it's gonna be a good week and I'm loving all these new items that Supreme is dropping. So once again, if you haven't already, hit smash that subscribe button, give this video a like at the end and leave me comments and questions. If you guys were able to cop anything last week, let me know and let me know what you guys are interested in copying this week. Until next time, we'll see you Thursday for the live cop. I just wanna give a quick shout out to Steven Tillett from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You are our 2000th follower and we are going to be sending you Oreos. I can't wait to get a video from you so that we can give you another shout out on my channel. I just want to thank everyone for your support. This is a brand new channel. We've only started this for about two months now. Whew, time has flown, but this channel is really growing and I hope to grow with all of you and create an amazing community where we can all keep in touch with all of these amazing drops that are coming out, shoes that are coming out, you name it. So every time that we reach a new mark of a thousand, we are going to give whoever is our 13th, or 13th, our three, number 3,000 follower, an option to either choose from a poncho or Oreo cookies. So please continue to subscribe to my channel. We want to support you for subscribing to me and following me and becoming a part of the Shea TV community by giving you some awesome items. Thanks so much.